Back our winter weather has our next guest in the mood for soup all month long. Rainia Harris is here with the soup and sandwich menu, perfect for a hearty lunch or a light dinner. And we're calling it Avgo Limino soup. Yes. Did I get it? Ah. I tried. I worked on that. <laughs> okay, it's, so let's talk about it. It's Greek. Yes. Avgo Limino. Let me tell you what it means. Please. Avgo in Greek means egg. Okay. Lemon is lemon. Yes. So it's it's an egg lemon soup, which doesn't sound very appealing until you taste it. I mean, I like eggs and lemon, and this is a request I understand from, from our Marie. dear Marie, who works here, who's she not does, in she's today. on our studio. Crew. Oh, she's gonna hate that. No, she's going we'll to be to tell her so how great upset. It's taste. She's going to be so upset. So let's tell you how I got to here. this point. Okay. First. Do we need to do anything to this right now? Or no, is I really want that to simmer because okay. I put the, the rice in and I probably could have put it in a couple minutes earlier, so I wanted to hurry up and get it gotcha. cooking. All okay. Right. So here's a chicken. Yes. And that's what I would call a <laughs> mighty big chicken. Pretty big chicken, <laughs> yes. yes. Big chicken. <laughs> and actually, in the olden days, I was able to find stewing chickens, which are like older hens. Okay. And they're tough. But they're great for a chicken stock because they take forever to cook in the in the water and the vegetables, and they make a super rich stock. They're so you're fabulous. gonna make the stock? We're I'm not making, starting with no, stock. No, we're making the stock in a nice big pot. But I can't find stewing chickens anywhere anymore. And I trust me, I've looked. Yes. They just they're not available mm. to me. So I went up to the market district where I live, you know, in the Bethel Park. Okay. And these roasters were on sale. Yes. And so I got this enormous roaster. All right. That's pretty big. Right it's now. a big, <laughs> big chick. And it's a, it's about a seven pounder. Okay. And I cleaned. I took all the gizzards and the neck yes. out, and I'm putting it right in the pot. That's the part I hate doing. Okay. Well, that's why I have this <laughs> right here. Okay. So I can clean my hands off. All right. Now. The next thing you want to do is put in, and you can put in more celery than this. And frankly, I'm going to have to go back to my catering kitchen today. Yes. And I'm going to have to boil this and simmer it on top of the stove. I see. And I'll probably add even more celery and carrots. You, you, you can't, it can't hurt. All right. It so can't celery, hurt. Carrots, carrots, and onions. Onion, of course. And you know what? Leave the skin on because it's going to come off, out at the end. Really? Mm hmm Huh. Everything goes in here. Okay. And then you want to season this with salt and pepper. Here's okay. some pepper. Now, some people do peppercorns. Yes. But it's hard to fish them out at the oh, end. Oh, I see. Yeah. So okay. I just do regular Ground. old. Yeah, I like pepper in my soup, so it doesn't really matter. And a lot of salt. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to put enough water in this pot to come all the way up to about here, and I, I think I'm in an overhead, so yes. it really so should cover everything. It at least by two, three inches if you can. Okay. And put a lid on it after you bring it to a boil, and put the lid just a little bit peaking the little lid, breathing like a, room, little of it, and lower the temperature of the of the heat. Okay. And then let it simmer two and a half hours. Oh, I bet that's going to smell good. Let okay. me tell you something. <laughs> when you strain all of this out, yes. and you will have to strain all of this, you will have, and it, and it chills, the most gelatinous chicken stock you've ever seen in your life. It almost oh looks like you put gel gelatin in it. <laughs> eggs? Six eggs. Avo. And the juice of about, I would say, six lemons. Okay. Now, put these in a blender, turn the blender on, and let this... Really, 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 really. Are you putting it on puree? Yep. Okay, excellent. Okay. So six eggs, juice of six lemons. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this for now. Okay. And I'm simply going to put it here. And I'm going to see how I'm doing on my rice. Okay. Is this just rice? River rice. River rice. Okay. River rice is starchier. I've and not the heard river of river rice. rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's almost completely cooked, which oh, is good. great. River rice um, is a lot starchier than regular rice. Okay. Okay, so I put in one and a half cups of river rice. Yes. Right in here. All right. Now, this 
is a very, very hot stock going into eggs. Okay. So I want to start off very slowly and add just a little bit. And can you tell me how we're doing on time so I know? We have about a minute and a half. We're going to oh, take a oh, break. Oh, and no, then that's great. That's, that's good. Great. Okay, perfect. Now I have it on mix. So you put just a little bit mm -hmm. of this into the, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a little bit more. Why do you do that? Because I don't want to curdle the eggs. I see. Okay. Okay. And then ultimately what I want to do, and I'm going to do this slowly, I want to add in the rice. Okay. And I want to puree the rice. And I just want to continue to do this slowly. And then I'm going to pour all of this back in here. Now, obviously, this is not all. I was going to say, you, but, it's not all. I'm going to see how my rice is doing. Right. Ideally, you would put all the rice in there. Right. Slowly. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to pour this back in here. Okay. Okay. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to let it cook. And the reason I want to do that is because there's eggs in here. I see. So why don't we take a quick break, because okay. we're going to come back and finish this. Does that right. sound good? That sounds good. And so, then we're going to make a chicken salad out of the chicken that we boiled. I love chicken salad. Stay with us. We are going to take that quick break. We'll be right back. More cooking with Rainia ahead on PTL.